So let's do another one here. This time we've got a partially distributed uniform load, and this is one that we found the resultant for earlier. So the first step here is going to be to draw the free body diagram of the beam showing the resultant of this 200 pound per foot distributed load. Again, remember the resultant is equal to the area of the loading diagram. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a resultant at the middle of this 20 feet. And the value of it is going to equal 200 pounds per foot times 20 feet is 4,000 pounds. And that's going to happen 20 feet from the left end and 10 feet from the right end. And we're also going to have reactions. We're going to have a vertical reaction on the left, RL. We're going to have a vertical reaction on the right, RR, and a horizontal reaction, RH. And you can see now this just boils down to a very similar problem as we worked on earlier. Okay, Let's go ahead and run through it. We have some of the forces in the x direction equal 0, to the right being positive, equals R H, so the reaction horizontal equals zero, okay. and then we get some of the moments. Again, let's pick the left end, point A, about point A, counterclockwise being positive, equals zero, and I'm not going to go through R L and R H because we know since they pass through this point, R L passes through A. RH passes through A. Because they pass through that point, they don't produce any moment, so they will have zero effect. Let's just run through the 200 and the RR. So we get 200, I'm sorry, it's the 4,000, 4,000 pounds times 20 feet. Again, about point A, this is spinning this direction, which is going to be negative. And then we get RR times 30 feet. And the RR, about point A, is spinning this way, about point A. So that gives us a positive, and we can solve directly for RR because that equals zero. So RR is equal to 4,000 pounds times 20 feet divided by 30 feet is equal to 2,666.7 pounds. Now we'll use some of the forces in the y direction equal zero up being positive, <coughs> we get RL minus 4,000 pounds plus RR equals zero. So RL is equal to 4,000 pounds minus 2,666.7 pounds which is equal to 1,333.3 pounds. So RL is equal to 1,333.3 pounds. RR, 2,666.7 pounds. Again, note that, <coughs> that the right reaction here is bigger than the left reaction because our load is closer to this end. So that makes sense. And the value turns out to be 20 turns out to be 20 thirtieths of 4,000. So that's 20 thirtieths of 4,000. And it checks out.